This is some funny shit, yo. Okay. Yes, I did not mean to hit record. Anywho, so I have been trying out this adult beverage. It's a Smirnoff Seltzer Limited Edition. Red, white, and blue. Uh, it's a malt, it's a malt beverage. You know the seltzers, you know what I'm talking about. Um, it's 4.5%, 90 calories, similar to a Mick Ultra. So don't hate on these guys unless you care about the fact that they don't divulge the <clears throat> sugar content. Girl, I can, I can really discuss that. Uh, which I will because I have the flipping time. So if <laughs> the artificial sweetener, you can put zero sugar if the amount of sweetener does not equate to less than a gram of conventional sugar. So the fact that it says zero sugar, there's artificial sweetener in here. If you have a concern about that, don't drink any flavored waters. I'm still kind of looking into hint water because it's not showing, it's not giving me a breakdown. But as far as like any of the other like major companies that make flavored waters, it's all BS because if they put enough artificial sweetener, it's obviously going to tell your brain that it's sweet, but they don't have to put the um, grams or milligrams of the sweetener, sweetener in it because, oh, this one does. Oh, shit. Uh, no, it does not. I got excited. My bad. Sugar alcohols um, also, it's a whole thing. Look it up. Anywho. I am, I thought about test, like smelling these scents, the replica, um, but I figured I would save it because I lit this candle, the Luma Spa, it's my air fryer. You know how loud that is? I'm a minimalist, so I don't have like a lot of tchotchkes and stuff on my walls. Um, so yeah, it echoes. <clears throat> Anywho, the Luma Spa white cypress um i'm obsessed with these candles and i just got them in my sephora haul that i posted that little video so i'm gonna try i mean obviously i've been enjoying this adult beverage um i think it's <laughs> i like have so many things that i want to say to you guys so i have to like step by step this is a cute starbucks color changing cups I didn't buy them last year. The last year ones apparently are, I want to do ASMR stuff. Um, the last year's ones were way better, cuter, but this is my first year buying them. They post, they, they like put out some like rainbow stuff. I don't know if they're calling it pride though, but anywho, um, I got the color changing ones. Um, I think they're the plastic ones that come in like six in a pack. Super cute. Um, This tastes like a raspberry lemon type flavor. I like the natural light peach and I also like the white claw grapefruit. The white claw grapefruit tastes like fresca and it gives you just like a little hint. I think it's like 5%. Again, I don't know what everybody's like level is at, but I, um, it takes a lot for me, but um, I'm in such a good mood and I learned to discuss that I've been um, intermittent fasting and I find great success in my energy and my mood not so much weight loss which is not that was not the intention of doing it in the first place um, it was for my fasting blood sugar level and I'm still having issues with it so obviously I need to see a physician considering the circumstances I'll schedule one I can update you guys on my personal stuff if you want to but I strictly had this channel for makeup and mom life but the videos were mostly like makeup because like I want to have a YouTube channel 
but I can't dedicate the time, so uh, that's why I do it on here. But I've been intermittent fasting. I've been doing 18, 18 fasting, six hour eating, or 16 fasting, eight hour eating window. So like, <clears throat> the best way to do it for me is stop eating at eight or nine p.m. and then don't eat until one or two the following day, one or two p.m. the following day. I find that very, very easy and convenient and I've been feeling really great doing that. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. Obviously, drinking alcohol is not part of intermittent fasting, but um, I just wanted to let people know it does make you feel really good. It gives your body like healing time. I have carpal tunnel and it has subsided a lot. Um, energy levels are up, which is amazing when you have kids. You know what I'm talking about. So, I'm gonna, anyway, to the makeup, I'm gonna test out the Makeup Kush, or mas Kush Mascara. Kush Mascara by Milk, the little tester. I actually tried out, now, I, re I saw some reviews on this on Facebook. My big ass arms, can we not have my big ass arms in this? Okay, can I just be head? <laughs> I just wanna be head. Um, this is kind of disappointing, but I knew going in, um, that it is just basically pressed glitter. The, how many carrots highlighter by Fenty Beauty, excuse me, Oliver Diamond Veil. I failed on that one. I thought it was a highlighter. A super fine 3D sparkle for face and body instant diamond dust effect. So you guys can see all the, the glitter that's in there. I should have turned my TV down. I'm watching Dateline. Look at that. So you rub it and you're like, mm, that's probably really white. Nah, girl. It's all freaking just silver. It's, it's a pressed glitter. It is a, do you see that? It's very silicone-y, very smooth texture. It's great. I love glitter. I love shimmer and glitter. I love shimmer like an old lady and I love glitter like a preteen. So I don't know how I feel about this yet. I don't know how I'm gonna use it yet. Because like when I'm ready to be Stacy that's 12, that's bomb. But when I need to be Carol that's 45, how am I gonna use it? And then the little gloss. This is fussy. I remember, I feel like I heard a YouTuber call it the P word, which I don't know. I don't think I can get demonetized on Instagram, but this girl thought I was pussy. No, it's fussy, which let's be fair. The F kind of can look like a P. Anyway, so I wanted to try out the Huda Beauty Ruby Obsessions and Yes, I'm that bitch that saw uh, Rob Beauty Kirsty. Like, just like, she was like flippantly like, yeah, girl, I'm gonna try this out. And she was like, damn, these colors are unique. I freaking love them. So I was like, you know what? I'm fair, I'm fairer than her. She has more yellow in her skin. Or at least she wears darker makeup than I do because I do wear more yellow tone makeup, but I can't hide the rosacea and the pink tone to my skin. So, even though I have pink tone to my skin, I'm about to use something red on my face. So, um, I'm coming up on 10 minutes and I'm like thinking to myself, this Instagram takes forever to load my videos and I have I have an old iPhone 8 and I'm like oh, should I pause it and then do a separate tutorial and because I feel like it's gonna take like freaking three days for the shit to load mm, I'm gonna do it anyway I'm gonna do it anyway except to that Oh, I think I'm just drained because I've been doing like, 
I've been telling my friends on like Facebook or whatever, I've been like, tell me your sign, I'll tell you what I think of your situation, your current situation, and like, I am doing it, and to the accuracy of it, I mean, so far it seems like everybody has been telling me I'm pretty accurate. Um, I try not to do too broad of a reading because like, obviously people have obstacles to overcome, relationships to mend, hobbies to complete like I try not to be that like generic but it's kind of hard when you like off the cuff looking at a damn screen so that's kind of like drain me today but the fact that I have this much energy super cool so I'm gonna go into the lightest shade try that out I swatched a few of these they're gorgeous Oh, I'm glad I didn't even touch it to my skin. Eyeshadow primer. I'm like too geeked, you guys. Like, it's way too much. Like, on my mind. I'm like, oh, I could do this, I could do this, I could do this. Like, oh, damn. Okay. Back to the lightest shade, top, top corner. Tap it. I'm gonna go ahead and put it, I'm basically putting it like crease and brow, brow, brow bone area because I really don't want to fuck with. There we go. Nada. You can't see shit, okay? Okay. I think I'm gonna go into this darker shade. This, it's a cranberry color. It's been in other palettes before. I don't think this is. Oh shoot, y'all. This is very pigmented. Yeah, I'm just gonna do a wash of color. Cause I'm seeing it now and I'm like, oh dang. Yeah. You see that? I I dipped into it, pat pat, tapped off the excess, and it's a huge color payoff. It's my first time using Huda Beauty products. So let me go in it again. Y'all. Mmm. Mmm. Tap. And it's gonna blow up my friggin' crease. What? And again, like, I think I place a product too hard on the side. I'm left handed, so I struggle. You guys know, opposite side of your face than your writing hand, you always, like, struggle to. struggle to get that shit the same. Dip into it a little bit. Gonna try to like this is amazing this color payoff this pigment and again I'm not placing it like I would a milk cosmetic because I feel like you have to place it exactly where you want it um, melt and Viseart I feel like those both are very very blendable but they're very pig like they're pigmented like they're pressed I don't want to say press pigments because I'm not that educated on it. <gasps> Do you guys see that? What? That's beautiful. So beautiful. So I don't know what I'm going to do now. I really thought that I was going to add more colors to it, but it is beautiful on its own. <laughs> Those are two colors. <laughs> they look great. I mean, oh my God. Oh. Beautiful. I think I'll use my finger and go into. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and do a darker shade. It looks like a black with pink and rose gold. It is. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on my outer edge here and then leave it alone. Rub in with my finger again. Kind of till you feel like it's really tacky. And then I'm gonna press it onto the outer corner a little bit. 
until like I feel like there's product placed. Oh, yo. This stuff is beautiful. I love it. I'm obsessed. Okay, now for the inner, I don't know if I should go like completely light. Yeah, why not? I'm gonna go to, into this lighter sh pressed glitter shade. B, sorry, that's my daughter. Oh, it's the same like glitter color as what's actually in. This is that rose gold. This is that rose gold that's actually into the black, pressed into the black. So this is gonna work really good. B, sorry, it's my daughter. Wow, like what was that, like five minutes? Not even, like two minutes of, so there's like four mats four pressed glitters and one shimmer that's the shimmer that quad those four and then that let me throw on some mascara because i already know that this video is going to take like four days to load four five six seven a million and i don't know why if anybody has had issues with instagram uploading like long stories i know why people do like like one or two minute tutorials because this shit takes forever to upload on instagram so let me what? hold on y'all let me look at this sorry i'm being obnoxious i have long non-curling eyelashes and they can be kind of sparse it actually smells like cinnamon oh, so I just wipe it on my nose now it has a cardamom cinnamon baking smell it smells like like baking spices I don't know if it Anybody has mentioned that, but it's straight, it's straight up to me. No. Bless you. It smells like baking spices to me. So I'm just trying to get this on to my natural lashes and give you guys a finished look. I put on the gloss and if you've hung on this long, thank you. <laughs> This is like an after a full day of work, baby is taking a very quick nap. My daughter found her tablet. We are a central workers household, so. I love this mascara. I live a natural fiber wand and I haven't used one in a while, so maybe it could be that too. The freshness of it, I love it. But again, I already have long eyelashes. They're just sparse and straight, so I'm cool with that. I'm gonna use Fussy. Go ahead and ah, little nubby. I'm not a good lipstick person. I don't wear a lot of lipstick. Just like hair, I'm not a hair or lipstick person. I want to be though. I want to be. I really want to be good. I have a bunch of red lipsticks that I want to get into. It smells like a free lip gloss. I 
I have pretty pigmented lips for being um, so fair. So that didn't do anything as far as color goes. But as you can see, the shade there. I love it. It's cute, it's cute. Um, I love the palette. But I'm cool with pressed glitters. If you're not cool with pressed glitters, pass. Hard pass. Don't do it. Because really, realistically, if you're a neutral person, you're just going to go for these three. The peachy, the cranberry, and then this pink, pink neutral. Ba pinky beige neutral shade up here. So if you don't like pressed glitters, don't do it. I'm cool with it. I love pressed glitters. Just rubbing that on the lid. You saw I did two different pressed glitters on the lid. I love it. This is for me. Um, love the mascara. Love, again, I need to use lip glosses. I do not use them like I should. I did bring a brush to try the all over diamond bomb situation. I just know it's gonna get everywhere. You see that? It is just silver glitter. I just want to like show you that on top of my rosacea from like all day wear and tear. But there it is. Well, thank you so much for watching. I know it's been a wild ride today. My child wants my child wants some snacks. We're doing some pizza goldfish. Alright guys, thank you so much. I'll see you later. Bye.